Hi guys, this is Mike. In this ZBrush tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use DynaMesh. A lot of times in ZBrush, you'll be making your models and you'll be doing a lot of pulling and stretching. What DynaMesh does is it recalculates that geometry so it's a little bit more organized. So what we're going to be learning is DynaMesh and how we can use it to recalculate your models. So first, what I want to do is I want to make a Z-sphere uh, to start blocking out the shape of our little character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to here at Tools and click on Tools and you're going to have this menu that pops out. And we're going to go down here to Z-spheres. So it's going to click and drag and pull out this little Z-sphere and you can rotate that around. You can hold down shift and that's going to keep that constrained and then release. And then what you can then do is go up to here to edit in order to make this editable. So you can start building Z spheres on top of this Z sphere, or you can just hit T on your keyboard. Now we have this little green dot that where we can start uh, making other Z spheres on top of this Z sphere. But what I want to first do is go to transform and go to active symmetry. Now when you scroll uh, move your mouse over this Z sphere, you can see that you have two dots. And then we what we can do is click and drag outside of the Z sphere to rotate around and I'm going to hold down shift again. Now when you bring the, the uh, these, this little green dot, when it forms one, then you can make another z-sphere right in the center. And I'm just going to rotate this around. You can kind of see where, how I'm building this out. And what you can then do is you can move this z-sphere. You can scale it. and you can rotate it if you want. So I'm just going to move this to about here and I'm going to consider this sort of like the body of our character and uh, this will be kind of like a neck and I'm just kind of making this weird little creature uh, just really so I can explain DynaMesh. So I'm going to go up to the, the top view again just rotate that around, go back to the draw mode and I'm just going to make another z-sphere, move this around. And if you uh, hold down, oops, excuse me. If you hold down control, you can pan your model around. And if you release control, then you'll be able to zoom in and out or scale up your, your model larger if you need to. So I'm just going to hit down, hit, uh, uh, excuse me, option. I said control option in order to move uh, to pan your model around. So what I'm going to do next is let me just kind of move this a little bit and I want to scale this up slightly. So when you make Z spheres, it's not actual geometry that you can start sculpting on. In order to make this uh, editable or being able to sculpt on it, you have to go down here to where it says adaptive skin. And you have this button down here to make adaptive skin. And you can preview what it, the mesh will look like before you make it uh, adapt, uh, make adaptive skin. So you can click preview or A on your keyboard. And that's going to give you an idea of what your mesh looks like. And so we're just going to bump this up to maybe four in density. And you can kind of see what that looks like. And so we're just going to make adaptive skin. And you can see that nothing happened in your screen. If you go to your tools, you have your Z spheres, but you also have your skin right here. So when you click on that, then you'll be able to start using your brushes and start moving and sculpting around. If you need to, you can go back to Z spheres and still edit it and then make adaptive skin again. 
So I'm going to click on our skin. And what I want to start doing is just kind of shaping our, our little creature. So I'm going to go over here to the brush, click on that, and you have a whole panel that of brushes. And if it gets a little um, unwieldy with having so many brushes, you can search your brushes by pressing, uh, say, M on the keyboard. And that's going to highlight all of the brushes that start with M. And that will make things a little bit easier to find things. So if you press M and then you come over here to the move, we can start moving things around. I'm going to increase the draw size a little bit up here. And uh, let me undo. I forgot to put on symmetry. So I'm going to go up to transform, activate symmetry. And you can see we have this little dot on the other side, indicating that we have symmetry. And I'm just going to start moving things around and maybe make this draw size a little bit bigger. And Quickly, I'm just kind of just going to make something sort of like a opening for like an eye. I'm going to make a little eye creature. That's what I kind of feel like doing today. And um, I'm going to kind of push this in a little bit. And you can kind of notice what's happening. Look at how, de uh, how detailed the mesh is down here. But as we're sculpting around and moving things around, you notice that we have a lot of stretching here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come down here where it says geometry, and right down over here we have DynaMesh. And we have this is the options that we're going to use in order to make our mesh, uh, recalculate our mesh. So when I'm going to go up to here in geometry, I'm going to have, we have uh, our subdivisions. Um, and we have them at low, level 4. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete lower, because we don't need those. And then we're going to come down here to DynaMesh. I'm going to turn off Project. And I'm going to come down here to Resolution. I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to type 256 and Enter. And then I'm going to press DynaMesh. Now, when I want to recalculate our, our mesh, just Control, click and drag. And what that does, it recalculates our mesh. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Shift F, and that's going to give us an uh, an outline of our mesh to see how uh, how our mesh is turn uh, is looking as I'm modifying things and moving things around and then recalculating. You'll be able to see the mesh update with DynaMesh. So I'm going to hold down Option, Release, and just move in. And you can kind of see what I'm talking about with our, our, our mesh. OK, so what I want to do is let me go back to our move and just kind of shape things a little bit. And I'm not getting too, uh, too detailed for this. particular character. Let me move this out a little bit, kind of stretch this out. And uh, what you can also do is you can go into, into your brush and you can press I. And that, there's a brush down here called Insert Sphere. And uh, make sure we have Z add on. I'm just going to pull down the draw size. Make sure we're in the center. And just kind of pull out like a little eye. And then control click. 
And I'm going to turn off the mesh just for a second, just kind of see how that looks. That back one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to our move brush and just kind of shape this out a little bit. And just kind of imagine that sort of being an eye. And maybe make this a little bit larger. And just kind of shaping this a little bit. Okay, so now that you, you know, spent a little bit of time just kind of getting to what you like. Now what I want to do is I want to kind of pull out some tentacles on the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to move, or excuse me, go to the brush. And I'm going to type, uh, or press S. And you have this here snake hook. I kind of like this for tentacles and it's just kind of, you're able to pull this out. Let me pull down the draw size a bit and let me just pull this out and option, zoom in a little bit. Let me rotate around. Now you can see as I pulled that out, now notice the kind of the stretching now. Now, in order to recalculate, control, click and drag. Now you can see that mesh recalculate. So now this is really useful for when you want to just block in your, your image or excuse me, your model and just kind of putting in limbs or, or whatever you're adding to your, your model and then you can recalculate using DynaMesh. So let me do that again. Let me uh, zoom in here so you can see this recalculate a little bit better. And it's going to pull this out. Let me undo. I'm going to try that again. And just kind of pull this out down like this. And you can see the mesh. Control, click and drag. And you can see that recalculate. And you can put more if you want. Maybe make this a little bit smaller on the front. Oops, let me try that again. Might have messed this one up too. Yep. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'm going to keep that. Just because it kind of looks a little silly. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Or scale that up. Uh, control, click and drag. And you can see that recalculate. So this is a, a real useful tool in your beginning process of making your characters or whatever you're sculpting and you're just kind of pulling things out shaping things stretching things out and then when you're ready to recalculate just make sure you have dynamesh on control click and drag and then move on it that's really the basic workflows when you want to start building out little uh building out the shape of your character. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also go to astronomic3d.com to download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far. Thanks for watching.